hello how are you welcome back for our second installment of we the people so today i have a question for you do you think you would be able to pass a u.s citizenship test so if you were born here you don't have to worry about this test but each year about 700,000 immigrants are granted citizenship in this country so there is a pool of about 100 questions and 10 questions are pulled from that pool in order to pass the test you have to get at least six of the 10 correct and the passing rate is about 91 percent so how do you think you can do let's get started all right question number one who is in charge of the executive branch i'll give you a couple of seconds who is in charge of the executive branch think you have it let's see the answer all right so the answer to that question is you guessed it the president question two what do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it. Then we will reveal the answer. Think you got it? All right, so if you answered the Bill of Rights, you are correct. The first 10 amendments to the Constitution are called the Bill of Rights. All right, are you ready for question three? What is the supreme law of the land? I'll give you a couple of moments to think about that one. What is the supreme law of the land? Think you got it? All right, so if you answered the Constitution, you're right. Got a hint from that from question two, huh? All right, let's move on to something a little bit harder. All right, question number four is, what is one, just one right or freedom that is listed in the First Amendment? So there's a couple of answers here, but you only have to list one. Think about it. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Let's see what the answer is. All right, so the answer to this question would be any of these listed above. You could say the freedom of speech, religion, assembly, press, or to petition the government. You only need one of these answers listed to be correct. Question number five. What are two rights given in the Declaration of Independence? This time you have to name two of them. Two rights given in the Declaration of Independence. Let's see what the answer is. All right, so any of these two um, would have been correct. Life, liberty, or the pursuit of happiness. So if you got two of those, you got that one right. Let's move on to something else. Question number six, I need you to come up with one branch or part of government. Just one. Like the other questions, there's multiple answers here, but you just have to name one. All right, I'll give you a couple of seconds to think of your answer and then I will reveal. You think you got one? All right, let's see. All right, just like question number four, you only need one of these answers to be correct. So if you said Congress, legislative, president, executive, the courts, or judicial, you would be correct. How'd you do on that one? Good, let's move on. All right, next up we have question number seven. What is the highest court in the United States? 
what is the highest court in the United States? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about your answer. Got it? All right, so I bet you got this one right. It is the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the highest court here in the United States. Let's see what our next question is. All right, you ready? So name one state that borders Mexico. There are four possible answers for this question, but you only need to name one. So name one state that borders Mexico. Think you got something? Let's see. All right, so any of these four would have been acceptable. You could have said California, Texas, Arizona, or New Mexico. All of those states border Mexico. Did you, did you get at least one right? Good. All right, let's see what's next. So question number nine is, why does the American flag have 13 stripes? Why does the American flag have 13 stripes? I will give you a couple of seconds to think that one over and then I'll tell you what the answer is. All right, answer to that question is there are 13 stripes on the flag because they represent the 13 original colonies. Did you get that one? All right, let's move on to our 10th and final question. Remember, you only have to get six of these questions right to technically pass the citizenship test. All right, let's see what our question is. All right, so there are 10 national u.s holidays i just need you to name two of them all right so name two national u.s holidays got two all right guys so these are the 10 national u.s holidays we've got new year's day martin luther king jr day President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So as long as you answer two of those, you got that one right. Great, so how did you do? How many did you get right? Did you get any of them wrong? Okay. Did you learn anything new from these 10 questions? Awesome. So tell us about it in the comments. I'd love to hear how you did. Remember, you only need six out of the 10 to pass. And normally the passing rate is about 91%. So if you get to the point where you're able to take the test, most people actually pass it. I'm so happy you decided to stop in and hang out for me with me for a couple of seconds and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Bye.